Welcome to the Anno 1926 Crochet Along. The designer used about nine colors in her sample, and I will be following that, occasionally mixing in a few extra colors. So I'm going to be using a thin DK weight yarn in 100% acrylic. So I have my yarn ready, some stitch markers, scissors, and my hook. Uh, my yarn calls for about a four millimeter hook. I crochet loose, so I've gone down to 3.25 millimeter hook for mine. And once you have your supplies, we will get started on this beautiful journey. So with color A, we will make a magic ring and put eight single crochet into the ring. I like to chain one first and then work eight single crochet into the ring. Two. Seven and eight single crochet. We will join with a slip stitch to our starting single crochet. You can go ahead and fasten off, tighten your ring, and sew in the ends. Eight single crochet. So round two, starting in any single crochet, we're going to start with a half double crochet. So we yarn over first using color D, insert into the stitch to pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops for that standing half double crochet. We'll chain one, half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one. We'll continue that all the way around, half double crochet in each stitch, with a chain one afterwards. So once you've worked your way around, you can join to our starting stitch and you can use a slip stitch to join if you prefer, or you may use a needle join. Eight half double crochet, 18 chain one spaces for a total of 16 stitches. Round three using color I will start in any of the chain one spaces with a standing single crochet. In the same space, we'll work a half double crochet, a double crochet, another half double crochet, ending with a single crochet, all in that chain one space. We'll continue that all the way around. So in the next chain one space, make a single, a half, double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. And you'll work that all the way around. At the end, you will join with a slip stitch to our starting stitch and fasten off. So you should have eight petals for a total of 16 single crochet, 16 half double crochet, eight doubles for a total of 40 stitches. Round four, using color H, we are going to start around any of these half double crochet from round two. We want to start with a front post slip stitch. So you insert your hook from the front around the back of the stitch, back out to the front, yarn over, pull that through and through the loop on your hook for a front post slip stitch. We're going to chain one. All of our chain ones in this round, we want to work a bit loose. Back on round three, we're going to skip that single crochet, single crochet in the half double. Chain one, single crochet in the double crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the half double, chain one. Come back to round two and work another front post slip stitch around that next half double crochet. Chain one. Single crochet back on round three in that next half double, chain one, single in the double, chain one, single in the half, chain one, ready to repeat again. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. 
we will join to our starting slip stitch at the end of the round and fasten off. And I just pulled my tails from this last round through the stitches and out to the back as I finished off. 64 stitches made of eight front post slip stitch, 24 single crochet and 32 chain one spaces. Now for round five, we are going to be working in the spaces between the two single crochet of round three. So I've just moved these stitches that we just made last round sort of out of the way so you can see those two single crochet. And we'll be inserting our hook between those two stitch. So you want to try and be careful not to go under just the top loops of the second stitch, but through the legs. So at the back, you can see how it sort of goes between two post legs and then you make sure that you're between the two single crochet. So we're using color D again. We're going to make a double crochet to start. So I yarn over, insert my hook between those two single crochet, pull up my loop and finish a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet back in that same space between the singles to start round five. We'll chain three and repeat that around. So in between these next two single crochet, we'll place a double crochet. And again, I like to check on the back to make sure I've gotten between the singles double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain three. So you can continue to work that all the way around, again joining to the top of our starting stitch to end the round. Forty-eight total stitches made of sixteen double crochet, eight chain one spaces, and eight chain three spaces. Round six, we will use color G and we will just be working in the chain one spaces of round five. So we're going to start in any of these chain one spaces with a popcorn stitch. So we yarn over and make a standing double crochet oops, to start the popcorn. And we'll make four more double crochet in that same chain one space. Now, if you prefer on any of these standing stitches to start the round, you can join with a slip stitch and make the required number of chains. So for a double crochet, you would chain three. So we remove our hook from that loop, insert in the first double crochet, put the loop back on the hook, pull through that stitch and make a chain one to close the popcorn. That chain one does not count as a stitch. We'll chain six. And skipping the stitches in the chain three into the next chain one space, we'll make a popcorn again. Five double crochet. Remove the loop from the hook, insert in the top of the first double crochet, Put the loop back on hook, pull through, chain one to close. Chain six. So you'll continue to work this all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. When you have worked this all the way around after your final chain six, we will join to our starting stitch. I insert my hook sort of through that eye or that circle part of the popcorn to make my closing slip stitch. And you can go ahead and fasten off. You'll have eight popcorns and eight chain six spaces. So 
So for round seven, we're going to be making these sort of trimming stitches around the bobbles, working down on a lower round and into the round. So we'll only mention the stitches we're going to work into and skip all others. So we want to use color F for this round. And we'll start in any of the chain six spaces from round six. We'll single crochet in a chain six space before a popcorn. Make a front post single around the popcorn. So insert your hook from the front around the back of the popcorn, back out to the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through those two loops for that front post single crochet around the popcorn. We'll single crochet in this next chain six space and chain three. And then we want to come down onto round four. That's my dark burgundy round. We want to find that single crochet we made in the top of the double crochet and we'll work a front post single around there. So in from the front, in front of that single, around the back, back out to the front. Yarn over, pull the loop up, yarn over, and pull through those two loops on your hook for another front post single. Chain three. And we'll repeat that around. Single crochet back into the same chain six space that we already have a single crochet in just before that next popcorn, front post single around the popcorn. Single crochet in the next chain six space, chain three, front post single on round four around the single crochet worked into the double. chain three and repeat. So again, you can work that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I finished up my final repeat with that last front post single, chain three, then join to my starting single crochet to finish this round. There will be 80 stitches, 16 single crochet, 16 front post single, and 16 chain three spaces. Round eight, using color A. We want to start in one of these chain six spaces from round six between the single crochet that are already there. We will place three single crochet. So again, if you prefer, you can join with a slip stitch and chain one before making your first single crochet three single crochet in that chain six space. Chain three. In the next chain six space from round six, we'll place three single crochet. Then in this next front post single around the popcorn, we will place two double crochet. Chain three. We want to make a front post double around the same front post single. And then in the next single crochet, we want to make two more double crochet.
we'll repeat that. So in this next chain six space of round six, three single crochet. Chain three, skipping this next popcorn and in the next chain six space, three single crochet. Then back on round seven, in this front post single crochet, we will make two double crochet. Front post double crochet around that same front post single. So yarn in, yarn over, insert from the front, around the back, back out to the front. Pull up a loop and finish a double crochet. And then in the single just after that, we will make two double crochet. So we've done two repeats. You want to do that two more times and I'll meet you just at the end of this round. So after your last repeat, you'll want to join to our starting single crochet to finish and fasten off. There should be 56 stitches, that's 24 single crochet, 4 chain 3 spaces, and 4 groups of 4 double crochet and the front post double. Round 9, we're going to use color E. We want to start in one of these groups of the 2 double crochet, 1 front post, 2 double crochet. We want to find those first 2 double crochet and working in between the 2 stitches. We will start with double crochet. So we yarn over, insert our hook in the space between those two double crochet to pull up our loop and finish a double crochet or start with a slip stitch chain three. We'll place two more double crochet in that same space. Then working in the space between the second double crochet and the front post double, we will work three double crochet in that space as well. One, two, and three double crochet. Working between the front post double and the next double, we'll work three more double crochet. And then between these last two double crochet, three more double crochet. So four sets of three double crochet worked in the space between two stitches of the previous round. So we'll chain one, and then we want to come down onto round seven we're going to skip this first chain space in the front post double and working in the chain space before those stitches worked by the popcorn. We'll single crochet in that chain three space. Chain three. And then single crochet in the next chain three space just after that popcorn. chain one and then we're ready to work that again starting with those three double crochet between those first two double in that next double crochet group on round eight and so on so we'll repeat that around and again I'll meet you just at the end of the round so after your final repeat you'll just join to our starting stitch to finish this round There'll be a total of four shells, 12 double crochet, two single crochet, two chain one spaces, and one chain three space for a total of 76 stitches.
Round 10, using color D, we want to start in the space between the set, between the first and second of the first set of three double crochet. And we'll single crochet in that space. And single crochet in between the double crochet four more times. Three and four. So we should have five single crochet worked in between the double crochet. And then in between these next two double crochet, we're going to work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Now I'm going to put a marker around that chain one before I work my second single crochet to help mark that chain one space. And then working between the next double crochet, we'll single crochet in the spaces between those double crochet and five. Then we'll chain three. Now we want to work, I'm going to remove my hook from the loop for a minute. We have this chain three from round nine and we also have the chain three from round eight. We want to put our hook under that chain three of round nine, grab the chain three of round eight, and pull it to the front. I'll put this loop back on my hook. I want to work two single crochet into that round eight chain three that we just pulled to the front. Two single crochet in that chain three space chain three then working in between these doubles again single crochet in that space between the first and the second and in the next five spaces So that should be six single crochet worked in between the double crochet. Then we're going to make a spoke. So we want to chain seven a bit loosely. Three, four, five, six, seven single crochet. If we turn the chain over, we can see on the back of the chain that there's this little bump or this extra loop on the back. We're going to be working into those bumps. So we want to skip the first two bumps and into the third back bump. We'll insert our hook and single crochet in there and in each of the next four. So we should have five single crochet made in these back bumps of our chains. Two, three, four, and five single crochet made in the back bumps of our chains. So at the top of the spoke, we want to, in those two unused chains, add a stitch marker to that space. We want to single crochet back in the same space where we made the single crochet before we did the chains or made the spoke. Single crochet in those next five spaces between the double crochet. Two, 
three, four, and five. Chain three. We're going to use our hook to pull that chain three of round eight to the front. In front of the chain three of round nine, place two single crochet in that round eight chain three. chain three and then we're ready to repeat that from the beginning again so this first time we do a single crochet chain one single crochet and then the next time we make another spoke and I'll meet you at the end of the round again when you worked your way around you will join to our starting stitch to fasten off So at this point we have our center part finished marking those two corners on the shorter sides and we have started to make the length we needed to make more of this oval shape each side will have 28 single crochet four of these chain three spaces one chain one space for 41 stitches and then the two corners of the long side have those spokes. Round 11 we will use color A. We want to start in one of these shells that does not have the spoke and we want to start in the last single crochet. So that single crochet that's made between the two, the last two double crochet. So we'll single crochet in that single crochet. Chain three. We'll skip the chain three space and the first single crochet. And in the second single crochet, we will place a single crochet, chain three, single crochet chain three. We'll skip this next chain three. We'll single crochet in the next single crochet, chain one, skip one, and repeat. Single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one. Single crochet in the next. chain three and skip this next single crochet. Now we've reached the spoke. We'll single crochet in this first chain stitch of the spoke. chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next, and repeat. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Then we should have reached that marked chain two. So in that chain two space that we had marked, we will single crochet, chain three, single crochet in that same space and go ahead and remove the marker. Chain one, we want to single crochet in this very first single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in that last single crochet of the spoke. Chain three, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in that last one, chain three. Chain 
We'll skip this chain three space and that first single crochet. Single crochet in that second single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the same stitch. Chain three, skip this chain three space, and that first single crochet, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain three, we'll skip the chain one space that is marked, and the next single crochet, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain one, skip one, then we're ready to start a repeat again where we started with that single crochet in that next stitch and so on. So you can go ahead and repeat these steps all the way around, joining to our first stitch at the end of the round. So once you're finishing up this repeat, join to our starting stitch. We do not want to fasten off and we don't want to remove these stitch markers. We can on the spokes, but not on the curved sides. Per side, there'll be 24 single crochet, 14 chain one spaces, and nine chain three spaces. Round 12, continuing with color A, we'll chain four. This counts as a double crochet plus a chain one. We'll skip the chain three space, and in this chain three space here, we will double crochet chain one four times. So that's once, double crochet chain one twice, four double crochet chain one all in that chain three space. Skip this next stitch and the chain three space. Double crochet in the next single crochet, chain one. Skip the space and repeat double crochet in the next single crochet, chain one. We'll skip the chain one space and the single crochet, double crochet in the next chain three space, chain one. So we arrived at the spoke. We're going to skip this next single crochet and the chain one. We'll double crochet in the next single. Chain one skip one and repeat double crochet in the next single, chain one, skip the space and skip that single crochet. And in this top chain three, we will double crochet chain one, sorry, six times once, twice, six times double crochet chain one. We'll skip the single crochet, chain one, double crochet in the next single, 
chain one, skip the chain one space, repeat double crochet in the next single, chain one, skip the chain one space, We'll skip the next stitch as well and double crochet in that chain three space. Chain one. We'll skip this next single. We'll also skip the chain one, double crochet in this next single, chain one, Skip the space, double crochet in the next single. Chain one. We'll skip the chain three space and that first single. Double crochet, chain one, four times in this chain three space, which is between the two single crochet made in that same stitch. Skip the single crochet and the chain three space, double crochet in the next, chain one, skip the next space, double crochet in the next single crochet, chain one. We'll skip this next chain one space and single crochet, and then we want to work down on round 10, working in front of this chain three space. Of round 11 and in this marked space my marker went to the back so in that marked space between those two single crochet we want to place double crochet chain one five times so once I've inserted then I remove my marker make that chain three space from last round is behind my work working into round 10 double crochet chain one five times in this chain one space. It's two, three, four, and five double crochet chain one. Back on round 11, so we're skipping that chain three space. We're gonna skip the next single crochet and the chain one space. We'll double crochet in the next single, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in the next single, chain one, and then we're ready to repeat around, skipping the chain three in the single and working into this next chain three space with the double crochet chain one four times. And so on. So once you've worked around this next spoke and down this next side and you join you will re omit this last double crochet chain one we worked as that was our starting chain four. And I'll meet you at that spot. So at the end of the repeat, I've finished those five double crochet chain one in the round 10. I've skipped the next single crochet chain one on round 11, double crochet in that single chain one, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the third chain of our starting chain four to finish this round. And we can fasten off. Each side will have 33 double crochet, 32 chain one spaces, and then the chain ones in the corners. So for round 13, we're going to be working puff stitches. There's a puff stitch with 
five yarn overs and a puff stitch with three yarn overs. We'll be working some in the round 12 stitches, but most of them will be worked into round 11 into those skipped chain one spaces, sort of peeking through the round 12 double crochet. Round 13, we'll use color C. We want to start in the shell made on one of the spokes. And we'll start in the very first chain one space after that first double crochet at the top of the spoke. So we're going to make a puff in that stitch. So we yarn over, insert into the loop and pull that up about the height of a double crochet. And we'll do that four more times. Yarn over, insert, pull up. So we should have five loops on our hook. Repeat, seven loops nine loops and one last time, 11 loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all 11 loops for our first puff five stitch and we chain one to close. That chain one does not count as a stitch. That's a first puff five. We'll chain two and do that four more times. So in this next chain one space, pull up a loop, after we yarn over and five times, that's three, four, five, yarn over, pull through all 11 loops, chain one to close, chain two. So we'll do that three more times. So I have my five puff five stitches with the chain two in between and after the last one. So now we want to work in round 11, working behind round 12. So in these skipped chain one spaces, we're going to make a puff three. So I'm going to sort of fold my round 12 to the front so I can see that skipped space. Yarn over, insert into that round 11, chain one space, pull up a loop. Oops, I had two times. Try that once more. So yarn over into that skipped chain space, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook. We'll do that twice more, five loops and seven loops. That's a puff three we're making. Yarn over, pull through all seven, chain one to close. Chain one. And we'll repeat that in the next chain one space on round 11. Two and three, seven loops, pull through all seven, chain one to close, chain one, and then one more time one, two, three, chain one. So three puff three made in those chain one spaces on round 11, working behind round 12. And that's the effect you'll get when you see it from the right side. We're skipping this next chain three of round 11, which has a double crochet in it already. And then working in this next ch chain one space, we'll make a puff three. Round 11 as well. One, oops, two, three, chain one. And in this next chain one space, we'll make another puff three. And then we'll chain five. Then we want to come back on to round 12. We'll skip this chain two space. Sorry, we'll skip the next two chain one spaces. and single crochet in this chain one space here. So that's just after the second of those four double crochet. 
chain five. And we'll skip these next chain one spaces, working behind round 12 into round 11 again. Between this first and second single crochet in that skipped chain one space, we'll make another puff three. Chain one. And in this next chain one space, another puff three. chain two and then back on round 12 in the center shell we'll work a puff five in each of these four chain one spaces one two three four and five Pull through all 11 stitches, chain one to close. We'll chain two in between each of these puffs. So you can go ahead and work three more of these puff five. Chain two. We should have those four puff five stitches with the chain two in between. Then back on round 11, we're going to work in these two chain one spaces behind round 12, doing a puff three. Chain one, puff three in the next, chain five this time. Back on round twelve, we're going to skip these next two chain one spaces and in the next one which is in between the middle two double crochet of that group of four we'll single crochet in that chain one space chain five skip these next two chain one spaces working behind round 12 into that round 11 chain one space we'll make a puff three chain one. We'll do that in the next chain one space as well of round 11. So we'll skip this next chain three that has a double crochet in it. We'll puff stitch in this next chain one space of round 11 working behind round 12. So puff three again. chain one and in the next chain one space puff three chain one and then there should be one last chain one space before that corner of the spoke we'll do another puff three and chain two 
and then we're ready to start the repeat again with these puff fives in those corner chain one spaces. So we'll have these puff five on that curved part, the puff five in the corner spoke with these puff threes on round 11, sort of poking or peeking through those double crochet and chain one. So you can go ahead, repeat that around and I'll meet you just before the ending of the round. So I've almost finished the round. I have one more puff stitch to make in this last chain one space in round 11 before our starting spoke. And we'll chain two and then we can join to the top of our starting puff stitch. I find it easiest to join in that chain one close on the puff stitch and you can go ahead and fasten off. So each side then has eight of these puff five, 14 puff three, two single crochet, 10 chain one spaces, 11 chain two spaces, four chain five spaces, and then the corners each have a puff five. Round 14, we'll use color F. We want to start at the first puff five in the corner at the end of a spoke. We will make a front post half double crochet around this first puff stitch. So yarn over, insert from the front, around the back, out to the front again, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops for our front post half double crochet. We'll place a half double crochet in the chain two space. And then down on round 12, we wanna place a treble crochet in this double crochet working in front of round 13. So I insert my hook in the top of the stitch, but in front of round 13. Pull the loop through, yarn over, pull through two, three times to complete that treble. Half double crochet back in that same chain two space. And we'll do that three more times. So front post half around the puff stitch, half double crochet in the chain two space, treble crochet down in the double of round 12, half double crochet back in the chain two space. So you can go ahead and work that two more times. So after those four repeats, we'll place another front post half around that last puff five. And half double crochet in that chain two space. And then treble in that last double or just past that last puff five. And we want to work around these puff threes. And if you haven't yet, you want to kind of push them to the front through that chain one space. We're going to be working in front of round 12 and we'll place a front post half around that puff three. chain one and repeat front post half around the next puff three chain one and we'll puff 
front post half around this next puff, do not chain one front post half around the next puff three, and then chain one. And another front post half around this last puff three, chain one. So next we're going to be making a series of slip stitches and chains down several rows and back up to form this tulip shape. So before we work it, let's just identify where our slip stitches will go. So we will work in slip stitch in the chain five space of round 13, chain one space of round 12, chain three space of round 11, chain three space of round 10, and then coming down to round seven, which was color H in these three stitches here. So there's a single crochet, a front post single, and a single. And then work our way back up the chain three space of round 10, chain three space of round 11, chain one of round 12, and the chain five around 13. So we're working down and around this sort of shell before the side set of puff stitches. So putting the loop back on my hook, slip stitch in the round 13, chain five space, chain two, slip stitch in the chain one space of round 12, chain two, slip stitch around the chain three space of round 11, chain one, and slip stitch around the chain three space of round 10, chain one, sorry, chain two there, and then come down and work a slip stitch in the single crochet of round seven, slip stitch in the front post single crochet, and slip stitch in the next single crochet, chain two. Okay, and then we'll insert our hook. We'll work our way back up this other side of the shell. So I've rotated my work slightly, inserting our hook around that chain three of round 10 for our slip stitch. Chain one, slip stitch around the chain three of round 11, chain two, slip stitch around the chain one of round 12, chain two, and slip stitch in the round 13, chain five space, chain one. And then we want to work around these puff stitches again, sort of pulling them to the front, front post half, around the puff stitch, making sure we're working in front of round 12. Chain one. Then we want to work a front post double crochet around this next puff three. single crochet in this chain two space. Front post half around the puff five, two single crochet in the chain two space. Front post half around the next puff five, three single crochet in that space. Front post half around the next puff five, two single crochet in the chain two space. Front post half around that last puff five, 
one single crochet in that next chain two space. We want to work up front post double crochet around this puff three, remembering to pull it to the front, working in front of round 12. Front post double crochet, chain one, front post half around this next puff three, chain one. And then we're ready to work those slip stitches and chains for our second tulip. So I'll work with you again on that. Slip stitch round 13, chain five, chain two. We're gonna turn our work slightly so that our hook is always pointing towards the center of our piece. Slip stitch around the chain one of round 12, chain two. Slip stitch around the chain three of round 11, chain one and slip stitch around the chain three of round 10 chain two then down on round seven slip stitch in the single crochet and the front post single and the next single all worked in those three stitches around that popcorn chain two Slip stitch around the chain three of round 10. Chain one, slip stitch around the chain three of round 11. Chain two, slip stitch in the chain one space of round 12. Chain two, slip stitch around the chain five of round 13. Chain one. So working those front post halves around the puff three now, we want to pull them to the front. So we're working in front of round 12, front post half around that first puff three, chain one, front post half around the next puff three, do not chain one, front post half around the next puff three, chain one. Front post half around the next puff three, chain one, and one more front post half around that last puff three. Then we want to work a treble crochet in this first double crochet of round 12 before our puff five in the corner by the spoke. So treble crochet in that double single crochet in the chain two space before that first puff five. And then we're ready to repeat this whole set of stitches again, starting with the front post half around that first puff five and working the trebles and the different single crochet in the spaces and so on. So you can go ahead, repeat that all around this side and I'll meet you just before the end of the round. So I've worked my way around my final front post half around that last puff three, we want to place a treble crochet in this double before the our starting puff five. And then half double crochet in that chain two space before our starting front post half on that first puff five. Then we can go ahead and join to our starting front post half and fasten off. So we can push these slip stitches to the outside of these chain spaces. To help position them properly. Each side has 20 front post half double crochet, two front post double crochet, six trebles, 
11 half double crochet, 9 singles, 22 slip stitches, 16 chain 1 spaces, and 12 chain 2 spaces for a total of 110 stitches, and there's one front post half in the corners. Round 15, we're using color G. Again, we're going to start on this end or by the spoke. We want to find that first treble before the first puff five of this corner spoke. We're going to place a front post half double crochet around that treble. Try that once more. And chain one. And then around each of the 20 stitches of this front or around this spoke, we want to work a front post half, chain one. So the next is around that half double crochet. We place a front post half double crochet, chain one. Front post half around the front post half, chain one. Front post half around the half double crochet, chain one, front post half around the treble, chain one, front post half around the half double crochet, chain one, and so on. Your last front post half is around this last treble, just past our last puff five. So you can go ahead and work those and I'll join you over here. So we started with that front post half chain one and then worked 20 more front post half chain one ending on the treble just past that last puff five. So around each or around these next four front post half double crochet we're going to be working a front post double crochet four together. So we yarn over, insert from front to back out to the front around that first front post half, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, leaving two loops on our hook. And we'll repeat, yarn over, insert around, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on hook. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We have four loops on our hook. And one more time, yarn over around the front post half, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We have five loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all five loops for a front post double crochet, four together. Chain one, front post double around this last front post half. chain one. We're going to skip this this slip stitch of the tulip and working into the chain five space from round 13 we will double crochet in that chain five space, chain one and another time double crochet in that same space, chain one. Front post double crochet around the single crochet of round 13. Chain one. Then in this next chain five space, double crochet, chain one, and again, double crochet, chain one. And again, we'll skip the slip stitch of the tulip. We're going to work a front post double crochet two together around this front post half and front post double. So yarn over, 
insert around that front post half, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on our hook, repeat. Yarn over around that front post double, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three to make that front post double crochet two together. Chain one. We'll skip this next single crochet and then around the next 11 stitches, we'll work that front post half double crochet followed by a chain one. So that's one, two, three front post half chain ones. We want a total of 11. And the last one will be worked around this front post half around that last puff five. So 11 front post half double crochet with chain one worked around this side shell. We'll skip this next single crochet and then working around these next two front post stitches, we'll work that front post double crochet two together. chain one and then skipping that slip stitch of the tulip working in this chain five stitch or space we'll double crochet chain one twice Front post double around the single crochet, chain one, double crochet in this next chain five space, chain one twice. We'll skip the slip stitch work a front post double crochet around this first front post half chain one and then ready to work that front post double crochet four together over these next four stitches so yarn over insert around that first post stitch there we go pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and repeat that three times. So there's five loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all five, and chain one. And then we're ready to repeat from where we started this round, working that all the way around this other side. And again, I'll meet you just before we finish this round. So as we finish up this repeat, we'll have worked this front post double crochet four together one more time with a chain one before joining to our starting stitch and fastening off. Each side has a total of 94 stitches made of 31 front post half double crochet, 4 front post double crochet, 8 double crochet, 2 front post double crochet, 2 together, and 2 front post double crochet, 4 together, plus 48 chain 1 spaces. In the corner is the front post half double crochet. Round 16 using color A, we want to start before the corner or before the spoke. So just after the front post double crochet four together before the corner.
we're going to work a front post double crochet around this first front post half double crochet past that four together stitch. Front post double crochet, chain one. Around each of these next 19 stitches, we will work a front post half double crochet, chain one. So it's one, two, three, so you want to continue that for 19 stitches. So 19 front post half double crochet with the chain one. So we're going to work a front post treble two together using this front post double four together and the next front post double. So yarn over twice, go around the front post double four together stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two twice, leaving two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice, around the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through all three for that front post treble two together stitch. Chain one. Around each of the next five stitches, we'll work a front post double crochet, chain one. Just once. twice, four and five, front post double crochet with a chain one after each. Front post double around that two together stitch from last round, chain one. Front post half around the next stitch, chain one. Around each of the next nine stitches we'll work a front post single crochet, chain one. So that's once, twice, eight, and nine, front post single, chain one. Front post half around this next stitch, chain one. Front post double around the two together stitch, chain one. Front post double, chain one around each of these next five stitches. One, two. four, and five, front post double, chain one. Front post treble two together around this next post stitch and the four together stitch. chain one. And then we're ready to start the repeat again with that front post double around the first stitch, chain one, and then working those front post halves and so on. So you can work this all the way around this other side, joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round. 
Each side has 92 stitches made of 14 front post double crochet, 21 front post half double crochet, 9 front post single crochet, 2 front post treble 2 together, 46 chain 1 spaces with a front post half double crochet in the corner. So you'll want to identify the corner chain space or the chain space just before the corner. The corner stitch is that 10th front post half of last round. So we started with a front post double and then worked 19 front post halves around the 10th one. We're going to start in the space just before that front post half double crochet. So round 17 using color F. We'll place two single crochet in this space just before the corner front post half double crochet. One and two single crochet. Chain one and we're going to put the stitch marker around that chain one to identify that space. Two single crochet in this next chain one space. So this round, we're not working into any of the stitches. We're just working into those chain one spaces. And we'll do that in nine more times. So two single crochet in each space 10 times after the marked corner. So that's twice, three times. 10 groups of two single crochet after our marked corner. We want to single crochet two together in the next two chain one spaces. So it's a space before and after this treble two together. So we insert our hook in this next space, pull up a loop, insert our hook in the next space, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three for a single crochet two together. And we're going to be working more of the tulip. It is not symmetrical on each side. We're going to be finishing the top of our tulips. So let's just identify where we will be placing those slip stitches for our tulips. We'll be working in the first chain space of round 14 and in these chain spaces of round 12. So we'll come down and attach to this chain space and over to here, come back up to round 16, back to round 12, into the second chain or last chain at the second side of the tulip, and then back up to round 16. Okay, so we're going to work a double treble. So we want to yarn over three times. and into that first chain two space. We pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, four times for the double treble. Chain six. Coming down on round 12, that's these group of double crochet chain one. In this first chain one space, we want to make a slip stitch. Chain four. Back up on round 16, we're going to skip this next chain one space and then working in the next we will slip stitch, chain one. Slip stitch in the next chain one space, chain four. And then back on round 12, we're going to slip stitch in this chain one space between the third and the fourth double crochet. chain five and then we're going to treble crochet in this chain two space at the end of our tulip on round 14. Okay. 
Then we'll skip a chain one space and in these next two chain one spaces, we'll make a single crochet two together. So that's on either side of the front post double worked around the two together stitch. And then in each of the next 10 chain one spaces, we will place two single crochet. That's once, twice. So 10 groups of two single crochet in the chain one spaces. Then we'll work another single crochet two together before and after the stitch worked around the two together stitch. And we're ready to work our next tulip. So we're going to treble crochet. So we yarn over twice in this first chain two space of round 14. So at the top chain space of the start of our tulip in round 14, we made a treble. Chain five. Slip stitch down on round 12 in the chain space between those first two double crochet. Chain four. Back on round 16, we'll skip this next chain one space, slip stitch in the next, chain one, slip stitch in the next chain one space, chain four, we'll come down on round 12 again in that chain space between the third and the fourth double crochet, we'll place a slip stitch, chain six and work a double treble so yarn over three times and in this last chain space of round 14 we'll place that double treble skip one chain space back on round 16 single crochet two together in these next two that's on either side of that treble two together stitch we made a single crochet two together then the next nine chain spaces we will place two single crochet one two times nine sets of two single crochet and then we're ready to start the repeat again as we did at the beginning so you can work your way all the way around one more time joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round and fastening off Each side has 60 single crochet, four single crochet, two together for a total of 64 stitches. There are two tulips and a chain one space in the two corners. Round 18, we will use color A and we want to start in either of these marked corner spaces. We'll start with a single crochet, chain one, I'm going to move that marker up into this chain one for our new corner and single crochet back in that same stitch. Single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the corner chain one. We'll single crochet in each of the next 15 stitches. One, two, three, 14 and 15 single crochet. We'll 
we'll half double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three We'll work a double crochet two together in these next two singles. Double crochet in the single two to the single crochet two together. And then around this first tip of the tulip, we want to work a back post single crochets. So in from the back, around the front, out to the back, pull up a loop for a back post double crochet. So working on round 16 behind the tulip, we want to treble crochet in this first front post double. We'll skip the chain one space, treble in the next front post double. We want to treble crochet in this chain one space before that slip stitch. So we want to make a back post treble around both of the slip stitch at the tip, but we want to keep this chain one space to the front. So I've just put a marker in it right now to help with that placement. Yarn over twice underneath that first slip stitch and the next one. For that back post treble around both of those stitches. Trouble in that space just past the slip stitch of the tulip. Double crochet in this next front post double. Skip the space, double crochet in the next. And then back post, half double crochet around this last tip of the tulip. We'll skip the single crochet two together and then we want to single crochet in each of the next 20 stitches. It's two, three, twenty single crochet. We'll also single crochet in the single crochet two together. Back post half around this first tip of the next tulip. Then working behind the tulip in round 16, double crochet in that front post double skip the chain one space, double crochet in that next front post double. Treble in the chain one space before this next tip. Back post treble around both of these slip stitches again, keeping that chain one to the front. Trouble in the chain or yep in the chain space just past that slip stitch. Trouble in the next front post double. Skip the chain one, treble in the next. Back 
back post double around this last tip. We'll skip the single crochet two together, double crochet in the next each of the next two single crochet, half double crochet in each of the next three. And then single crochet in each of the next 15. That's two, three. And the 15 single crochet should be just before that next marked stitch where we can repeat all of that on the other side before joining to our starting stitch. Round 19, using color G, we will start in a chain one corner space. We'll start with a single crochet. Chain one, and move the marker up. Single crochet in that same space. We want to single crochet in the first 14 stitches. That first one can be a bit hidden, so make sure we get that first one. And 14 single crochet. That's two, three, 13, and 14 single crochet. We'll place a half double crochet in the next three stitches one half, two, and three half double crochet. That's better. And double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One double, two, and three double crochet. So that last double is in the double crochet two together stitch. And then we want to make a treble crochet in the next 10 stitches. One, two, nine and ten treble crochet we're going to work a treble and a double crochet together so yarn over twice insert in this next single crochet pull up a loop Yarn over, pull through two twice, leaving two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through three. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next six. One, two, five, and six single crochet. 
And in this next stitch, which should be the center of this side shell, we will place two single crochet. Single crochet in the next six. That's two, three, five, and six single crochet. Half double crochet in the next two. And then we'll work a double crochet treble together. So yarn over once, insert in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on hook. Yarn over twice, insert in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two twice, three loops on hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Treble in the next 10 stitches. One, two, nine and ten treble crochet that last treble is worked in the stitch just after the last tip of the tulip double crochet in the next three one two and three double crochet, half double crochet in the next three, two and three half double crochet, single crochet in 14, one, two, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, which should be in the last stitch before our marked corner, where we'll start the corner again, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and repeat all the way around the other side. So you can go ahead and work that now, joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round and fastening off. Each side has 44 single crochet, 10 half double crochet, 6 doubles, 20 trebles, 1 treble double crochet together, and 1 double crochet treble together for 82 stitches, a chain 1 in the corners. Round 20 using color F. This is our final round for part 1. We will start in a corner chain 1 space with a half double crochet. Chain one. And we can move, remove the stitch marker. Half double crochet back in that same corner space. We want to skip this first stitch, which is hidden anyways. Half double crochet in the next 10 stitches. That's two, three, nine, and 10 half double crochet two half doubles in the next stitch, half double crochet in 13. It's one, two. Twelve. 
12 and 13 half double crochet, two halves in the next. Half double crochet in 14. One, two, Thirteen and fourteen half double crochet and now we should have reached where we have those two singles in the same stitch we're going to place two half double crochet in each of those two singles so two half doubles in this first one two half doubles in this next one half double crochet in each of the next 14. One, two. Thirteen and fourteen, two in the next stitch, two half doubles in that same stitch, half double crochet in thirteen, one, two. Twelve and thirteen, two in the next stitch, and half double in the last eleven stitches. One, two. Ten, and this eleventh one should be in the stitch just before our marked corner ready to start again with the half double crochet chain one half double in that corner and so on remember to skip that first stitch after the corner and then work those half double crochet around joining to our starting stitch at the end of the round you will notice the rounds aren't quite symmetrical as we had 10 half double crochet past the corner on the first side and 11 before the corner on the second side or at the end of the side. So part one finishes with 89 half double crochet per side with a chain one space in each of the two corners.